guys welcome back to the channel I uh, hope you're doing well it's makes from the mix creation if it's your first time come across this channel consider subscribing to this channel support this channel by subscribing by the way don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be very updated wherever I upload a new video or when something comes up new in today's video we are going yet to look at another another question that was also asked and we want to try to share it out and give what we definitely need to know that we did not know in one way or the other and this is we are looking at the requirements to work as a cleaner in Qatar if you want to work as a cleaner these are some of the requirements that you need to have or what are requirements that will enable you to get a job or to work as a cleaner in Qatar these some of these requirements may look a little bit very similar in one way or the other but remember you need to have them or you definitely need to possess them for you to have a job one of the requirements is should have what you call a passport with you remember when we talk about passport a passport is a, a travel document that will enable you to move or Will enable you to work in another country or an interterrio uh, and uh, interterrio uh, of another country to cross over from your country to another country so you need definitely a passport before even your plan of moving or anyone uh, any doing um, any plan of moving or moving to some of these countries make sure you have a passport with you then still also we look at what you call a work visa you should have a visa now we should have someone that is going to sponsor you for that job uh, for example i keep on telling people when it comes to visa visas here in Qatar, it's a little bit very tricky for the visa visas it's a little bit very hard unless you're coming with a family visa or you're coming with a business visa but most of the time the the visa visas become a little bit very complicated because of the requirements that you are supposed to possess and what you're supposed to need so you need what you call a visa or you need what you call a work visa someone that is going to sponsor you and you'll definitely be fit and you will let you go to cross over to one from your country to Qatar then also we look at another one you should be medically fit I always keep on telling you medical fitness is always very important and where does the medical fitness test starts from it starts from your country of origin make sure you go to the accredited medical centers to thoroughly take a thorough check your body and such that you don't face the regrets when you come to this country remember when you come to this country or when you come to Qatar you will definitely take another medical fitness test and when you pass the medical fitness test that means you are free to work in the country when you fail the medical fitness test definitely the only option the employer or the sponsor will have to do is to repatriate you back to your country because you will not be used and you will not be issued what we call a residence permit uh, in those regards remember medical fitness is also very important so make sure it starts with you and uh, it starts from your country of origin then also we look at another one is what we call the contract the contract is also very important and when you come to these jobs and you're given a job of a cleaner make sure you always ask for the contract or sign a contract sign something that you should know a contract is just is is, is a document that's going to look at the relationship between you the employee and the employer it is going to outline or it is going to list all the other requirements is going to also list what is the, the the guidelines that you are supposed to follow and what is your mandate what 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 are your benefits in one way or the other so it will definitely outline all in one in one way or the other such that you can fully understand what is your role and how what is the role of your employer then in case for some situation if you have any relevant document you definitely have to have that document because remember when we are talking about interviews when we go to some of these interviews they will definitely ask you do you have any experience working as a cleaner definitely you're not going to say no because every day is cleaning you say I, I may be volunteered somewhere to do the cleaning that is also another experience but in case you have any relevant document Please move with that document it's always very important because sometimes you may get a job where you're cleaning in a hotel housekeeping you are doing as a cleaner in the housekeeping and you never know there may be a promotion looking for someone that has a created document or has uh, some kind of education and you may be elevated in that status in that way that is the that is the added advantages of moving the document aside with you uh, and you never know one time one chance may come and you'll be elevated or picked out in one way or the other 
to move on with anything or to move above that then also we look at certificate of good conduct is also very important when you're coming from your countries of origin you should have that certificate of good conduct that is a police clearance certificate it shows that you have no criminal record in your country and you've never committed any you've never committed any uh, criminal or any criminal offense or no any crime in one way or the other even your employer or the person that is sponsoring you is going to feel safe uh, with the person that is employing even the government itself or even uh, the government itself always feel safe to have people who have no criminal records in any way or the other then also we look at the age the age also works from 18 years to 30 years if you want to be a cleaner in Qatar uh, to some extent uh, there may be an exception where you need to be above that age but uh, the minimum between 18 years to 30 years if you want to be a cleaner in Qatar then also we look at uh, the minimum height of a cleaner uh, minimum height of the cleaner uh, if you are a male cleaner if you are going to be a male cleaner a gen, uh, male cleaner your height should be between five it should be at least five uh, five feet six inches and if you are going to be a uh, female for the female cleaners at least your height should be five to two inches that is a mandatory height that is being required to be a cleaner then something also that we need to know is another point that is what we call the weight which is weight is around 60 kg that is a recommended weight of 60 kg person weighing why because remember it enables you physically move and it enables you to, to have that opportunity to do work without even without even um, having to have inconveniences in one way or the other. Remember, some of the cleaning ma materials will also require uh, carrying. We have the molder machines, we have the polishing machines, uh, definitely meaning that you are physically fit and you definitely know, have to possess that kind of weight that can be able to accord and work out freely without any hindrance then also we look at another one is what we call the communication skills the communication skills are always very important remember this communication cleans the one when we're talking about this uh, we are looking at skills like for example you can speak a little bit of arabic or you can also speak what you call english and also if you can speak hindi is also an added advantage in that world and it's going to make you communicate freely with the team communicate freely with the management the supervisors as well communicate with with others that you are working with uh, hope i've tried to share up something thank you so much see you again in the next video it's me from the